friends, so I have another Lady Gaga telephone look for you today. Um, this is the makeup look from when she's in jail and she gets the telephone call. I'm not awesome enough to do the hair because I just don't do hair. If you know me, you will know that I basically just suck at doing hair. Anything that involves like putting your hair upward, just a bit, no. I don't do that. I wish I could learn to do hair. That should be my next thing. Um, but as for now, no hair for me. So, um, yeah, if you want to see how I did the makeup, just keep watching. So I'm actually going to start off with doing my eyebrows first. Um, in the pictures, or in the video, she has very, very dark eyebrows, but they're not completely black. So I'm going to do really dark brown brows. If you have a really dark brown um, brow pencil, go ahead and use that. But I don't, so I'm going to use a pigment, actually. This is Deep Brown Pigment from MAC, which is a matte. Um, it's a pro color, so you can get it at pro stores if you want it, but just use whatever you have. The reason I'm using a pigment instead of an eyeshadow is because I want to use it wet, so I can get a really uh, precise brow. So I just took some out on some paper, get some on my brush, spritz it with a little bit of Fix Plus. You can use regular water too. Um, and this way, if I need more, I can just go back, dip it into the pigment that I have on the paper, and I don't have to get my wet brush into an eyeshadow or into the pigment so job. So I'm going to drum on my brow. She does have a very, very defined brow, so I'm going to do that too. She also has a bit of a thicker brow than me, so... I'm going to thicken mine up as well. And when I get to the end of my brow, I'm kind of going to wing it out. I know it sounds weird, but that's what her brows look like in that scene. And I think it's a, I think it's a fun touch. So that's my brow, and the next thing I'm going to do is apply an eyeshadow base. I'm just using this one by Art Deco, but use whatever works for you. Just something that um, makes your eyeshadow last longer. Now I'm going to use MAC Polished Ivory Pigment. This was a pro color, and I'm afraid it's discontinued, but just use any matte color that is a little bit lighter than your skin tone without actually being white. And I'm just applying this from my lid to my brow bone. Or onto my brow bone, actually, all over. And this will just give a nice, even base to work on. Um, she does have a really light color on her lid and on her brow bone. And I think there's a little bit of shimmer on it on there, too. Um, but I'm just going to use this for now, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of an even lighter color later. So I'm adding this to my tear duct area also. Okay, so the next step is the color in my crease. Um, I talked about this the last time I did a Lady Gaga inspired look, but I'm going to mention it again because it's quite important. Our lids are very different. Um, our eye shapes are very different because I have a lot of space between my crease and my brow and not that much space on my actual lid. And hers her eyes are basically the opposite. She has quite a lot of space on her eyelid, but not that much space between her crease and her eyebrow. So I'm kind of going to cut my crease to make my eye shape a little bit more like hers, but of course it's never going to look completely the same. So the first color I'm going to use is MAC Wedge Eyeshadow. Just any color that is a bit darker than your skin, but without being like super dark. And I'm using this with a fluffy brush. This is the 224 from MAC. And I'm going to apply this kind of in my crease, but a bit above. I'm actually connecting the eyeshadow to my eyebrow. Um, that is how she wears her makeup a lot of the time. On the outer part, I'm taking the color closer to my natural crease, but still not really into my crease. Now for a darker color to help deepen the crease or the fake crease a little bit, I'm going to use MAC Charcoal Brown. This is another matte brown color, but this time it's... A little bit darker 
maybe you could get away with using only this, but by applying the wedge first, it's going to make everything a lot easier to blend. I'm using a smaller brush this time, it's the MAC 226, and again I'm concentrating the color on the inner part. And so once I have the color kind of where I want it, I'm going to go back in with the lighter color, the wedge, and the bigger, fluffier brush, and I'm going to go over the edge of the darker charcoal brown. I'm going to use this. It's from Glamour Doll Eyes, and it's called Skin of a Killer. I'm going to use a light dusting of this right under my brow. Now this is a white color, and it's quite shimmery. So I only need a little bit to add, like... A little shine and just on the inner part of my lid just in my tear duct area and kind of on the inner like half of my lid I now think. for the eyeliner I'm gonna be using MAC black track fluid line I do plan on doing a tutorial specifically just on liquid and gel liners um, but this is not it because I don't really have time for it but I'm just gonna speed up the video so you can still see the process but I'm not gonna actually explain everything The wing is quite quite long, quite dramatic, but just do a little bit at a time because that way it's going to be a lot easier for you to fix it if you mess up. And it looks like she also has liquid or gel whatever liner on her bottom, so I'm going to do that too. So I have my eyeliner on. Now in the video she has a little black dot right around here, a little black mole, birthmark, whatever you want to call it. I have one right there, so I'm just going to um, draw a little dot on top of that with eyeliner. So now I'm just going to apply some liner, mascara, lashes, these Art Dell Wispies, and I will be right back. So I applied some lashes, and on my waterline, I just used a white um, eye cold. This is from Gosh, but you can use whatever you have or whatever you can find. Then for the cheeks, these are going to be really, really simple. I'm actually not going to add any real color because it doesn't look like she has. I'm just going to contour a little bit. I'm using MAC Strata Blush. I'm going to use MAC uh, Night Moth Lip Liner. It's just a really dark uh, purple, purpley, burgundy, whatever liner. And I'm just going to lay my lips. And then the lipstick that I'm going to use is called So Scarlet. It's from MAC. I just have mine right here. Um, this was limited edition, so you probably can't find it. I believe it's pretty hard to find, actually. Um, but just use whatever color you have. This is my finished Lady Gaga jail scene look. So don't forget to comment and rate and uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I uh, will talk to all of you soon. Bye.